Hey guys, welcome back to Judo Highlights. And today we're looking at uh, Valois Fortier, uh, the Canadian judoka who uh, is quite often second or third on the podium. He doesn't have many first place finishes, but a great judoka nonetheless. He's got a variety of techniques, uh, Sumi Otoshi, Tai Otoshi, uh, Ujimata, and Kataguruma. Tatami 4, golden score. Here he is taking down uh, Saeed Molai, the world champion. He's also got wins over Sagi Muki, who's also a world champion. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to let the highlights play, and then at the end of the video, I'm just going to have a look at his Katakuruma, do a little bit of uh, analysis, because uh, I think it's, it's kind of unique and a little bit interesting. Anyway, guys, enjoy.
All right, guys, so let's break down OTA's Kataguruma. And why am I showing you uh, this version from Dai Mitani of Kokushikan University? And that is because I think this is the more generic way to do a Kataguruma. So what you have is right versus left, and uh, you've got the lapel grip, and then you're taking an inside sleeve grip as you're going into the Kataguruma which I think is more common, is definitely more common here in Japan. But what Fortier does is instead of going right versus left, he uses it uh, right versus right. And uh, as he's competing for the sleeve grip, because he's a, he's a heavy sleeve player, uh, as he's grabbing it with two hands, he adjusts. He adjusts his left hand while he's uh, isolating the sleeve hand with his right hand. He adjusts his left hand up high on the tricep and I think he does this for uh, two reasons uh, one it works in well with his uh, game so uh, you know he's he's a heavy sleeve player but he's quite tall so you're not gonna see him looking for you know uh, a sode or a seoinage but he needs a kind of a technique when he's got one hand on on the sleeve and I think this is his answer for that. Also, uh, as I said, because he's quite tall, uh, I think the generic way uh, for going in with a kataguruma is kind of difficult if you're a taller person. Uh, you're playing right versus left, and usually in that situation, people are kind of uh, watching out for things coming around the back or underneath or uh, trying to get the, the inside grip, and so they're they're, ca they're cautious about people uh, ducking under them or trying to get underneath them. But in a right versus right situation, it's kind of uncommon to see people ducking under that sleeve hand. And maybe it's a bit of an element, element of surprise. And I think, you know, using that uh, high uh, tricep grip, it makes it easier for such a tall player to get underneath and execute his kataguruma. Anyway guys, that's my thoughts. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Subscribe, like the video, share. Consider becoming a YouTube member. It all helps out. Alright, see you later. Bye.